right, welcome back to chapter 9. We'll be talking about lifespan development. Our overview is neonates and infants, toddlers and preschool age children, school age children, adolescents, early adulthood, middle adulthood, and late adulthood. Our case study intro, EMTs Michael Hitchens and Joe Levitt are finishing their daily vehicle checklist when their dispatch tones sound. Ambulance 10, Engine 10, Ambulance 14, and Rescue 14 respond for a vehicle crash with entrapment on Highway 15 at the 132 mile marker. The EMTs arrive and size up the scene. Michael and Joe have two patients, a 32-year-old female and a 2-year-old male. Both require extrication. What differences are are there in the way an adult and a 2-year-old are approached for assessment? What differences should be expected in vital signs? Remember, pause this video, write these questions down so that you can answer them later on. Intro. People change physically and phys- uh, psychosocially throughout their lifetimes. EMTs must be able to incorporate knowledge of each stage into patient assessment and management. Uh, vital sign change uh, throughout lifespan. If you look on the left, you see age for adult, adolescent, school age, preschooler, excuse me, toddler, infant, and neonate. And if you look at the uh, heart, the awake heart rate per minute, um, it, it's from 60 to 100 in an adult. And then you go all the way down to neonate, which is birth to one month old. You can get heart rates from 100 to 205 beats a minute. Uh, the respiratory rate is the same way. It's it's lower for adults and higher for neonates. So as a child grows, the slower their heart rate, the slower their respiratory rate will be. If we look at the um, same thing for blood pressure, It changes. Instead of getting lower as we get older, it gets higher as we get older. So blood pressures in neonates and children are a lot lower than those of adults. Neonates and infants. A neonate is from birth to one month of age. An infant is from one month to one year of age. And during this period, a child undergoes rapid growth and development. Cute little newborn. right out of mommy's womb got them all cleaned up her all cleaned up 12 month old infant for those of you who don't have children or haven't ever been around little babies like this this is where they start to become vindictive i'm just kidding they're great but they are mischievous vital signs for neonates and infants at birth respiratory rate of 40 to 60 per minute at birth, decreasing to 30 to 40 per minute within minutes after birth. The tidal volume is 6 to 8 milliliters per kilogram. The heart rate is 140 to 160 beats a minute at birth, decreasing to 100 to 160 in minutes. Systolic blood pressure average is about 70 millimeters of mercury. And the temperature ranges from 98 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. By the age of one year, the respiratory rate is 20 to 30 times per minute. Tidal volume is 10 to 15 milliliters per kilogram. Heart rate is 120 times a minute. Systolic blood pressure is 90 millimeters of mercury. And temperature is 98 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Physiologic changes, average birth weight is 3.0 to 3.5 kilograms. Remember, a kilogram, each kilogram is 2.2 pounds. The head accounts for 25% of the body weight. As we talked about earlier in anatomy and physiology, the head on children is a lot bigger. Uh, Birth weight drops 5 to 10% in the first two weeks. Thereafter, the weight continues to increase. Initial diet of breast milk or formula. Primarily nose breathers uh, until four weeks of age. Airways are easily obstructed. There are fewer alveoli and lung tissue is fragile. The chest wall is soft with weak accessory muscles. 
Fatigue can occur easily from respiratory distress. Increased respirations can lead to dehydration and heat loss. Immune system is immature. Immunizations are important. Infants have several important reflexes. Extremity movement should be symmetrical. Inability to localize pain, so they're just gonna they're not gonna be able to tell you where they're hurting, they're just gonna be able to cry. Posterior fontanel closes after at three months. The anterior fontanel closes between nine and eighteen months. Always examine the fontanels for assessment of hydration. Uh, so the fontanel, that's the uh, soft spot on a baby's head. Remember your they, your parents, your grandma and grandpa will tell you, you know, don't touch the soft spot on a baby's head because it, the bone hadn't grown in. Okay. Um, if, if you see a fontanel that is sunken in on a baby, then uh, that is a sign of dehydration. If you see a fontanel that is poking out or protruding, that is a sign of swelling in the cerebral uh, in the cerebrum. Two-month milestones for neonates and infants. They'll be able to track objects with their eyes, focus on objects 8 to 12 inches away, recognize familiar faces, display primary emotions and facial expressions, and recognize familiar sounds and voices, and move in response to stimuli. They can At six months, they can sit up right in a chair, in a high chair, make one-syllable sounds like ma, moo, daddy, uh, support upper body uh, when they're on their stomach, grasp and shake hand toys, follow moving objects with their eyes, and recognize familiar objects at a distance. 12-month milestones, sit without assistance and walk with help. Uh, know their own name, crawl and creep on hands and knees. Uh, I guarantee you they're faster than you. Put objects into containers, poke objects with fingers, respond to simple requests, and no, say mama or dada. How do I know they're faster than you? Because I've raised two children. Still raising, but they're a lot older now, thank God. Parents must meet the infant's physical, emotional, and psychological needs for healthy development. Infants do not like to be separated from their caregivers. It's important information for you whenever you do patient, ins- patient assessments involving babies. Infants commu- uh, communicate through crying. They can detect and respond to parents' emotions. You ever seen a kid, you ever seen a parent get upset and a kid get upset too? There you go. Toddlers and preschool age children. A toddler is one to three years of age. A preschooler is three to six years of age. They're fun, 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 fun. Vital signs for toddlers, heart rates to 98 to 140 beats a minute, respiratory rate 22 to 37 beats a minute, systolic blood pressure 86 to 100 millimeters of mercury, 106 millimeters of mercury, temperature 98.6 to 99.6. And and what I want to point out is these young children, uh, toddlers and stuff like that, You do an assessment and you get a high respiratory rate or high heart rate, don't freak out, okay? With a low blood pressure, don't freak out because it's normal. Preschoolers, heart rate of 80 to 120 a minute. Respiratory rate, 20 to 28. Systolic blood pressure, 89 to 112. Temperature, 98.6 to 99.6. Physiologic changes, increased body mass with decreased body fat. Primary teeth have emerged. Increased number of alveoli in the lungs, loss of passive immunity, but active immunity develops through exposure to pathogens. Brain and motor skills develop quickly. So when it's talking about being exposed to pathogens, remember the old saying is, if you you don't want to get sick, get outside and play. Eh, That was to build your immune system. Three-year-old milestones, walk alone. They can walk alone and begin to run, (laughs) and they will run. I guarantee it, especially when you don't want them to. They can pull or carry several toys when walking. Climb up and down furniture, stairs with minimal support. I'm just shaking my head because that's the truth, and they will do it when you don't want them to. Scribble and play with toys. Find hidden objects. Sort objects by shape and color. Five-year milestones. Stand on one foot for more than 10 seconds. Hop, jump, swing, climb, and do somersaults. Um, If you've never had a five-year-old before, um, I can assure you 
that they will do all this stuff and they will demand your attention while doing it. They can dress and undress without assistance. That doesn't mean they're going to match, but they can dress and undress without assistance. They can count 10 or more objects. And God forbid they learn how to count to 100 because they will count to 100 several times in the backseat of the car. No matter how many times you ask them to quit. They can trace and draw pictures, usually on your wall. Just saying. It's a big canvas. Why not? Blank. Sure. Physiological changes. Language develops. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that one right there. Development of separation anxiety at about 18 months. That's true, because uh, have you ever tried to drop off a baby at daycare or a kid at daycare? Yeah. Well, wait. Just wait. Playtime helps with social skills. Speak at the child's level. Uh, that means you might need to kneel down and get to their level and uh, talk to them like they're a child and not an adult. Allow him to touch equipment if appropriate. So if you're trying to assess him and you're not using your stethoscope and um, they're freaking out, maybe you should let him play with it or some other piece of equipment like a pin light or something like that. Um, and maybe help calm them down. So. All right, case study. Sorry, I had to reply to a very important email. I know, I'm taking up your time, right? Oops. Case study. Both patients are conscious. The woman is very anxious and is concerned with the condition of her two-year-old son. The two-year-old is crying and screams when Michael gets close to him. Michael sees a toy on the floor of the car and hands it to the boy, whose name is Blake. The toy, along with some reassuring words from the mother, calm Blake, although he is still scared and reluctant to cooperate with Michael. What other actions could Michael take to gain Blake's cooperation? Again, keep track of that question. You can write it down and uh, see how it goes. See if you can answer it later on. Stone below should be accomplished. Recognize familiar faces and sounds. If you said two months, you are correct. Infants should recognize familiar faces and sounds by two months of age. Click the age by which the developmental milestone should be accomplished. Walk with help. If you chose 12 months, you are correct. Infants should be able to walk with help by 12 months of age. Say mama or dada. If you chose 12 months, you would be correct. Infants should be able to say mama and dada by 12 months of age. All right. School age children, a child between 6 and 12 years of, old, of age. You know, it, gets, gets, it keeps getting better the older these kids get. That It's like lifespan development is my favorite chapter because I've raised two daughters. One is 12, one is 15 at the time of this video. And uh, and I can I can just tell you that everything they talk about in this in this uh, chapter up until 15 years of age is 100% is completely true. All right. Vital signs, heart rate of 75 to 118 beats per minute. Respiratory rates, 18 to 25 per minute. Systolic blood pressure is 97 to 115, and temperature is 98.6. You see the trends in the blood pressure and the heart rates and everything. They start to get lower. The blood pressure starts to get higher. Physiologic changes. Bones increase in density and grow large. Primary teeth are replaced with permanent teeth. Ability to read and write. Nocturnal enuresis may continue after the age of 10. That means they don't want to go to sleep. Friendships are important. Problem solving skills develop. Self concept, self esteem and morals develop. Increase understanding of pain, illness, injury and death. And if you've ever had your six to 12 year old get injured in any sort of way, bee sting, cut, whatever, uh, they will have a thousand, a thousand questions. And then the next day, they will have a thousand different questions. I can promise you. 
All right, 12 to 18. We got a 15 year old. Yep. That's about right. The little earbuds and everything, except now that they have AirPods and not the, the the ones with cables on them. That's that's an old picture. Yeah, probably a couple years old, but it's old. Vital signs: heart rate 60 to 100 beats a minute. Respiratory rates 12 to 20. Systolic blood pressure is 110 to 131, and temperature is 98.6. Physiologic changes: two to three year growth spurt. Pff, ain't that the truth? You're gonna buy more clothes and more shoes in those years than you'll ever want to think about buying. Uh, girls finish growing by age of 16, boys by age 18. Puberty and reproductive <laughs> maturity. Oh. I sigh because you will see, you will see, you will see if you haven't had children yet. Just remember this chapter. Remember chapter 10 and Brian Martin telling you everything there is to know about lifespan development. You'll see. I hope you have your textbook so you can go back and review and be like, they told me so. Changes can result in family conflict. <laughs> family conflict. No, there's no conflict in family. No, it's just a screaming matches sometimes. No, I'm just kidding. Um, on, on her part, she screams. I don't. Um, believe they are the focus of others' attention and have a feeling of invulnerability. <laughs> That's not a truer statement on the planet. Uh, desire to be treated as an adult, but legally cannot make medical decisions. And there's the catch-22. I can make my own decisions, but you legally can't. So be quiet and let dad and mom take care of the problem. Privacy is important. Hmm. Yeah. It's like a impenetrable wall, that privacy that these adolescents put up. Yeah, good luck. That's all I can tell you. Experimentation with alternate identities. I hadn't really experienced that, thank God. Uh, understand there are consequences for actions. She definitely understands that. May engage in self-destructive behaviors, depression, and suicide increase. I, I pray that doesn't happen. Um, if you have children, mine, it has not happened in mine. Thank, thank the good Lord. Um, concerned with body image. Yeah, she's a little concerned. May engage in sexual behavior. Uh, not yet, but... Let's just say I, I have my my guns and my, my all my cleaning kit out ready for the boy when he comes over. Uh, if you ever want to see a great depiction of how dads act or how they think in their head when the boy comes over to pick up the daughter, you need to watch the scene from Bad Boys 2 with Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. It's got some language in it, but dads, you'll get me. All right, ages 20 to 40. 20 to 40. Now we're getting close to my age here. Close. You know, we're not there yet, obviously. But vital signs, heart rate is 70 beats a minute. Respiratory rate, 12 to 20. Blood pressure, 120 over 80 is normal. Please do not call that sign, that blood pressure out to me every time you do it because I know that ain't going to be right. Blood, uh, temperature is 98.6. Physiologic changes. Optimum function of body systems. Physical peak, peak between 19 and 26 years old. Accidents are the leading cause of death. Let me read that one to you again. Accidents are the leading cause of death because we think we are indestructible at these ages. I will tell you that my, my peak performance personally was between uh, 19 and 26 when I was in the military. Um, and I was, I was a PT stud. That's all I'm going to say. And my, my, not, not all, all of us were. I mean, we were just, we get amazing athletes, but, um, but we had a lot of accidents. Uh, thank God we never died, but we did have a lot of accidents. Increased responsibility and independence. May marry and begin families. Uh, beginning careers. High level of job stress. Uh, some of you are fitting in this category, and you're thinking to yourself right now, well, what did I get myself into with the CMT class? It's very stressful. But as you can tell, it's normal. All right, age 41 to 60 years old, that would be in my category. I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but you can figure it out. Vital signs are heart rate 70 beats per minute. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. I don't know if you remember about uh, the last chapter. I told you I'd take beta blockers <laughs> because my heart rate's too high. Uh, respiratory rate is 12 to 20 minute. 
Blood pressure is 120 over 80 when I'm on my medication. It's definitely very nice. But uh, normally it should be in the range of 120 over 80 for your normal adults of this age. Uh, temperature is 98.6. Physiologic changes, some decline in body systems and concerns with chronic disease. Weight gain may occur. <laughs> yeah. May, it will. Uh, vision changes, yes. I'm just answering these questions for you. Women undergo menopause in their late 40s to 50s, I guess. Uh, I'm not a woman. I can't attest to that. And I'm not in my late 40s. Uh, problems seen more as challenges than threats. <laughs> you know, the human race is just ridiculous sometimes. You know, looking at a problem as a challenge, I mean, I, I get it. I'm the same way. Uh, but we sometimes forget that there's a threat involved, so... Uh, more developed coping skills. Obviously, we've been through a lot. <laughs> We're old now. We've been through a lot. Uh, aware of time limits. <laughs> and I'm laughing because it's like when you get approaching this age, you don't start, you don't think about how long you've been alive. You think about how much longer you have. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny. You'll see. You'll see if you're not there already. Focus on others rather than self. That's a, that's a natural thing. You know, old people, old people like us, they just, you know, we've been there, done it. We want to try to help other people. Uh, transitions in parenting. Yeah. I mean, we're becoming grandparents. You know, hopefully, uh, I'll have a little while, but, uh, you know, our parenting skills go from being rough and tough mom and dads to spoil your rotten grandma and grandpa, you know, so, uh, yeah. And then we're still rough on our kids. Um, age of 61 years and older, uh, vital signs. <laughs> I love this slide because all the other slides gave you vital signs except this one. 61 years and older, vital signs depend on the underlying physical and health status. So what they're telling you, medical science has proven that above the age of 61, you're probably going to have some underlying physical and health status that's going to affect your vital signs. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just being honest. We all live in Southeast Louisiana. If you're uh, taking my class, and our 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 uh, underlying physical and health status starts a lot earlier than 61, I can promise you that. Physiologic changes. Uh, maximum lifespan is 120 years. God, I hope I don't live to be 120. I really don't. I'm thinking I'm thinking like 85 is good. <laughs> Life expectancy varies with year of birth. Incidence of disease increases. Cardiovascular system changes increase the myocardial workload. Uh, the brain becomes smaller with some neuron loss. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm, I'm laughing, but it, it's 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 true. It's just true. There may be memory problems and disruption of sleep cycle. Reaction time slows. Respiratory system changes diminish ability to cough, lung capacity, and gas exchange. Diminish smell, taste, hearing, and vision. Diminish pain, perception, and kinesthetic sense. Prone to falls. Prone. Sorry, that <laughs> I'm 40. I'm in my 40s, and I'm prone to falls. Okay, I'm not picking on these people that are older than me. Problems with hydration and nutrition. Changes in ability to communicate. Health status varies widely. May be satisfied with the outcome of life or regrets can lead to depression. Uh, it's either way, either satisfied with your outcome of your life or you're going to be depressed because of it. Um, feelings of isolation may occur. Financial difficulties may occur. Decreased independence can affect feelings of well-being. All right, now case study conclusion. Uh, before we do that, I just want you to see if you can see a trend here. As we are neonates, infants, toddlers, our bodies are susceptible to things. We catch diseases. Our immune systems are low. We're weaker. And we grow and grow and grow until we get into our uh, 20 to 40 year range where we uh, reach our peak performance. After that, we start to deteriorate and we get weaker and our immune system goes down and our body starts to shut down. So it's like a up the mountain, down, up the hill, down the hill until death. Um, and it's the way it happens. I tell people we're we're, we're all dying. It just depends on the day. It depends on when the good Lord wants to take us. You know, um, it sounds very cynical when I say that, but um, we're all going to die. It's eventually, it's going to happen. Science has proven that our bodies will eventually give out, you know. So, um, 
we can either prolong the process by being healthy and taking care of ourselves, or we can, uh, excuse me, one second. All right, sorry about that. All right, we'll just go into the case study conclusion. Michael allows Blake to hold his pen light and shows him how to turn it on. Within a few moments, he has gained enough cooperation to complete an assessment. With the assessment done, Michael prepares the patient the patients for the extrication process, anticipating both will be frightened. The patients are freed and, fortunately, do not have life-threatening injuries. Michael and Joe keep the mother and child together for transport. Our summary for this lesson, people develop and change throughout their lifespan. Changes are both physical and psycho psychosocial. It is important to understand the assessment and management modifications needed for each stage of life. I will see you next time.